happy. Some people, some people discover complex equations. Some people cure some cancer. Some people make synthetic hamburgers. I saw that. That is how the zombie apocalypse begins. A $400,000 fake hamburger. Well, it wasn't fake. It was a real hamburger made with... Made out of stem cells from a dead cow. This is how it begins, people. I know! A week from now, all the highfalutin food critics who ate that burger are going to be rotting, walking death machines. Someone is taking notes from you right now, copiously, and like, this is going to be my script. It's all going downhill from here. Night of the Living Burger. It's going to be the follow-up to Sharknado. It creeps me out. And, like, I, you know, I'm I'm not a vegetarian or anything. Like, I, like I, I love a good cheeseburger. There's There are a few things in life better than a good cheeseburger. But I was listening to the BBC cover it this morning, and it actually made me think about, like, seriously cutting down my meat consumption. Because... <laughs> Someone in the channel just just made a point. Soylent Green is coming because if you can grow a burger made out of cows. Well, there's a dude. Is he in Texas? I forget who like it has been living on this nutrient drink that he invented called Soylent. Is it made of people? I, I think he just named it that because he thought it was clever. You could actually make, though, if you could make a burger out of stem cells from a dead cow, you could make a burger out of stem cells from... You could make a man burger. A man burger. Or, or just blow your mind, you can make it from your own stem cells. Just... It's, it's just kind of weird and creepy. <sighs> like, this, I don't know. And maybe it shouldn't be, maybe what's weird, maybe what should be weird and creepy to me is that we kill cows... If you're eating a hamburger made out of yourself, is it is it cannibalism? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shall we get to the to the to the news? Yes. <laughs> Probably a good idea at this point. Yeah. I have to ask the hard hitting questions. I do. Like you know, is it if you make hamburger as yourself? Is it cannibal? I have to ask these things. No one else will. Each week, Catherine Radio Day, our audience goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> again with the breakup shit. You've been in that. I've been in a situation. You've been in a situation. You've been, you've had that breakup where the argument has gotten so crazy. You do anything to get the other person to stay, right? Yeah, I guess. I never. Th I didn't. I didn't include this in my arsenal of anything. Honestly, I. I don't know why. Man charged with false nine one one call to keep girlfriend. And it's not what you think, guys. Uh, Florida Keys man says he called in a false kidnapping report to keep his girlfriend from leaving. Creative. Matthew Corp was arrested Saturday and charged with misuse of 911 and resisting arrest. Uh, jail records show the 35-year-old from uh, Tavernier is being held in jail without bond. Corp told 911 dispatchers that two men driving a U-Haul kidnapped his wife. Notice to be on the lookout for a car was issued over police radios. A woman at Corp's apartment told the responding deputy that she was now his ex-girlfriend and she was moving out. I mean, it's kind of clever, I guess. <laughs> Except for the fact that nobody's going to corroborate your story. Did, did he really think they were going to bring her back? Oh, no. Here here you go. Sorry about that. Here's your, here's your girlfriend. Here's your wife back, sir. No need to thank us. That's not how that works. Yeah, the police aren't going to get you undumped. That's not their job. No. And don't you think she's going to mention, no, wasn't kidnapped. Getting the fuck out of here. 
That's why exactly. I have a U-Haul. Well, she did. Yeah. Sheriff's office so, state. By the way, none of that is true. I'm fine. I'm leaving dipshit here. And you can probably figure out why. Uh, Sheriff's office statement says Corp was intoxicated, yelling at the deputy and the woman during his arrest. Corp said he called it a false report to keep his girlfriend from leaving. I can't imagine who would dump a gem like that. <laughs> How was ladies? There are not a lot of good men in the world. What was the next thing that was going to happen here? He was going to kidnap her in the U-Haul, obviously. You see, you say that you're joking, but am I? Uh, nah. You know, <sighs> moving on. Um, uh, my mom had a phrase that she loved. It was um. Some people have more money than sense, which is a little clever, a little bit of a pun pun there. My mom's a fan of don't shoot on me. Because she doesn't like unsolicited advice, which I inherited from her. So she says, don't shoot on me. Kind of works with this a little bit. Um, I actually. This. I don't know what's what's got me worse, the fact that someone actually built this or what was done as a result of it. And this is an actual thing. And I love Ars Technica because they have some of the best headlines. Um, Holy shit, smart toilet hack attack. Oh, yes, I saw this. Information security firm Trustwave has reported a potential cyber attack vector to a device you may not have expected the phrase Security vulnerability will be applied. And on advisory issued August 1st, Trustwave warned of a Bluetooth security vulnerability in Inex Satis Automatic Toilet. Functions of the Satis. I don't understand why you need a smart toilet. <laughs> Here's what it does. Um, functions of the Satis, including raising and lowering of its lid and operation of its bidet and flushing nozzles. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> if you need a fucking phone app to flush your toilet, like, how lazy have we gotten? You don't need that. It's a toilet. The technology has not changed in a couple hundred years, and it doesn't need to. It's fine. It's perfectly functional. If you get one of these and you get hacked, you deserve what you fucking exactly. get. Exactly. Lazy piece of crap. Because apparently, a lazy idiot. Um, it can be remote con remotely controlled from an Android application called MySatis over a Bluetooth connection. A toilet with Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth pin to pair the toilet zero 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 zero. It's the same combination I have on my luggage. Is hard coded into the app. As such, any person using the MySatis application can control any Satis toilet. Attackers could cause the unit to unexpectedly open or close the lid, activate the bidet or air dry functions, causing discomfort or distress to the user. <laughs> I think it's interesting that the brand name sounds so much like Sadist. Yes, it does. It does. I. But yeah, like, except for Shirley Manson turning into a urinal on the Sarah Connor Chronicles. <laughs> Because that was awesome, because it was Shirley Manson and she killed a dude. Yeah. There's no need for your toilet to be a robot. No. It's just not necessary. You know, there was a while back they were had like a wireless connection thing for your car so that they could wirelessly do a diagnosis. And people pointed out, well, if anything with a wireless connection, you can hack. Yeah. A Bluetooth in a toilet. There is a factory in the world today that makes this. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe we're just not forward thinking. Maybe it's going to become really necessary when all the stem cell zombie meat becomes normal. I was thinking more a little Wally, though. You know, it's one step down the road to Wally. I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think our everyday appliances should be able to think. 
Like I made a joke on Twitter, why don't we have robot house housekeepers like the Jetsons? And then I thought about it. I'm like, I would never want that. The Roomba scares the crap out of me. <laughs> yes, it scares them. Oh my god, the fucking thing terrifies me. I don't know I why. Roomba it fucking terrifies me. How does it know when to clean? How does it know where to clean? Why are you letting your vacuum cleaner think? One of these days, it's just going to decide it doesn't need you anymore because you keep making the mess. Yes, exactly. It's going to decide. You know what? I could cut out the middleman if I just get rid of the human. It's more efficient yeah. that way. Like, I don't I don't think we should let technology think. I've seen too much sci fi. I've seen iRobot too many times. But on the other hand, somebody needs to do the thinking because we obviously are. Well, we're not because we don't have to anymore. Because we can be like, doop, 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 toilet seat down, wife happy. Instead of going. So we've got. We've become the people from Wally. We're the fat, stupid yep. people who can't do anything. Yep. I just want to like suck down our sugar nutrient mix while we watch like. I, all the news today is A-Rod, 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 A-Rod. Who the fuck cares about A-Rod? People are dying. This is our problem. We are the fat, stupid people from Wally. It's happened. It's already happened. Dennis Leary, is that you? <laughs> yes. Um, so we have uh, yet another in our continuing series of people breaking in other people's kitchens. This one's a head scratcher. Because I don't know who's really to blame for the stupid in this one. I, I think there's a little to go around. It's from Des Moines, Iowa. Um, police tried, uh, police, burglar tried to light kitchen fire twice in the same day. An Iowa couple said someone broke into their house and attempted to use their stove to start a fire twice in the same day. A couple told police they arrived at their Des Moines home around 8 p.m. Sunday and discovered someone had turned on the burners of their gas stove and placed a roll of paper towels on the surface. Homeowners said there was smoke but no flames. They turned off the stove, removed paper towels before leaving the house again to go to the store. The couple said they returned 45 minutes later when they realized they had left a wallet 15. behind. Oh, 15. 15, 15 minutes, minutes later. later. And they discovered the house was filled with smoke with a roll of paper towels placed on the same two lit burners. Fire fire spawned at home about 840, extinguished the flames. A couple said they couldn't think of anyone who want to start a fire in their house, and police have not identified any suspects. Okay. If I came home and noticed someone had tried to light my house on fire, I'm not just going to shrug my shoulders and go off to the 7-Eleven. Yeah, I might call somebody. Call some fucking cop or something! Look to see if there's someone still in the house. Yes! Something. I might take some kind of preventative action. Because you come home and you're just like, oh Instead well. Just, well, that's weird. Yeah, that was a thing that happened there, huh? huh? I guess the cats didn't like her food again. Oh well, let's go to the store now. And this does not surprise me. This is the kind of person who would leave their wallet behind. Yeah, that seems like an underreaction, which is rare for us. <laughs> it's overreactions. This was kind of someone tried to burn your house down and you were just like, that's weird. That's some lay off the Xanax. You are too chill. Yeah. Sometimes a little anxiety is a good thing. Especially when something is on fire. It's like, oh. House is on fire. Huh. Whoa. I know. <laughs> Did they ever find this person? It doesn't even say, does nope. it? Nope. They have not identified anybody. They don't know who wanted to do it. But apparently someone... That's the other stupid thing. He wanted to do it really bad. So badly that he... The first time when that didn't work, he came back and tried the exact same damn thing again. <laughs> Yeah, but not badly enough to try a different method. Right! It's like, huh, that didn't work. They discovered it. Oh, well, I'll do the same fucking thing. Gotta change that shit up, dude! Definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. The fact the house didn't burn down means you're probably crazy. 
Yeah. <sighs> okay, now it's time to get pissed off. <clears throat> This is from near you, so if you really felt like it, you could get in the car and go and punch this guy. It's, it's, it, I, I'm not putting it past you, and I wouldn't blame you if you did. We've had many stories about the Craigslist and the Facebooks and the YouTubes. The one thing being that when you put it on the internet, you have left a trail of evidence. So I would think if you were trying to do this, <gasps> you would not want a trail of evidence. Staten Island man allegedly tries to sell baby on Craigslist. Staten Island man was arrested Monday after being accused of trying to sell a two-month-old baby on Craigslist. Law enforcement sources say Paul Marquez, 23, and he looks like a dumbass kid, don't he? Uh, told police he posted an advertisement with pictures of the child. Do you do you want to read it or I? Looking to sell her for one hundred dollars. Kind of lowballing it there, dude. Currently being held on a thousand dollars bail, so it's kind of a pity you didn't charge more, isn't it? You wouldn't have even made your bail money. <clears throat> Staten Island District Attorney's Office said that Marquez gave the child's mother's phone number and at least one person who responded to the ad, and the person tried to buy the child from the mother. Law enforcement sources say Marquez did it because he grew angry the child's mother stopped paying attention to him. Oh, poodle. Stop paying attention to him or the baby? To him. Okay, fuck you. Yeah. <sighs> because this is... Even, like, I would make the joke that, <laughs> you know, at least ask for a decent amount of money. But you tried to sell your two-month-old baby. This is how much of a geek I am. This is what's going through my, he my head right now. If you get the baby... Could I have the woman? And I'm waiting for people to pick up the reference. Why am I, I drippings with goo? Um. <laughs> Somebody got it. There you go. There you go. Um. I never saw Ghostbusters 2. I only saw the first one. I'll let that one slide. Ghostbusters 2 kind of sucked. But, uh. Okay, so this, this is, what was the plan here? Once the kid's gone, I'm in there. A hundred bucks. A hundred. And do you really, do you really think that baby mama is going to love you more? What's the problem? The baby? What, what, what's the problem? We just... Baby's gone. It's not you don't have to change diapers or feed it or shit anymore. I thought you'd be happy. Let's have sex. Yeah, make another one. She's going to yeah, fuck no, she's going to fucking cut you. Yes. The channel has it right. I hope this man goes to jail for a very long time. And I hope the food is really bad and disagrees with him. And that his roommate is like some kind of Westboro Baptist church nut that just talks to him about Jesus all day and not in the nice way. Shy guy in the channel has a wonderful question. Who agreed to buy it for a hundred dollars? Where's the person yeah, who that person goes to jail too. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. You got a baby. I got a hundred bucks. Um, but people that hurt kids don't do well in prison. You know how you used to you, like there is like it, it's like kind of a well-known trope. The people who hurt kids, they don't have a good time in prison. Like nobody has a good time in prison, but life's not going to be good for this guy. Yeah. You know how you used to dress Shoot monkeys it. up in people clothes and teach them to ride little tricycles? Yeah. I want to do that with the baby. What do you mean? That's what you normally do with babies. But it would be funny. Anyway. 
I can't even be funny about this. I know it's it's kind too of, angry. Yeah, yeah. That's not how adoption works. <laughs> Well, this one is, again, another one where um, people just perspective gone. I, I'm, I, we have seen people rob people over all sorts of things, but this, is, this one kind of, I'm not understand. This is a risk reward thing that's kind of skewed, I think, a bit. And of course, it is Florida. This couldn't be anywhere but Florida. Florida man held at gunpoint over price of turtles in robbery. Oh, look at the little tiny turtle. Police search for two men who stole 20 turtles, $500 in cash. Did they steal 20 tiny turtles? And that's terrible. Kyle, the police are searching for the man who stole at, who stole 20 at 20 turtles at gunpoint. Editing people. Editing from another man selling them in a parking lot along with $500. Police said the 41-year-old Citra man was selling yellow baby turtles with his 11-month-year-old in a Kmart parking lot when two men walked up and asked for the price of one of the turtles. Citra told the man the price was $10 a turtle. The man became agitated, calling it a ripoff. One of the men pulled a gun on the victim, who was holding his son, and took 20 turtles and $500 in cash. The men drove off in a newer model black Dodge Charger, but the victim couldn't get a good look at the robbers because he was shielding his son. Okay. If you're in a Dodge Charger, a late model Dodge Dodge Charger, you're really gonna give people shit over ten dollars for a turtle. I I got that. You stole turtles. <laughs> stole turtles. Think about, think about your life. At <laughs> gunpoint. It wasn't even like he broke into the pet store and stole them. No, you, this was a heist. You busted out a hand cannon in the parking lot of the Kmart <laughs> for turtles. For turtles. 500 in cash, which that's not even all that much, man. Well, I mean, you know, 500. No, man, if you're going to bust out a, a gun. I'm pretty excited to get 500 in cash on any given day. Make sure whatever you're robbing is more than the cost of the bail and the charge you're going to incur. Make sure the baby you're selling, you're charging the more than you need to cover your bail. I can't even talk. I'm so mad at that guy. <laughs> but like, then what do you do with the 20 turtles? And do we have... Are you try and fence the turtles? What's the <laughs> value of a turtle? Hot turtles. And I, you have 20 turtles. Uh, yeah, and that poor little boy. That's what it I know, that poor kid. He just wanted a good home for his turtles. And he, just, <sighs> he probably has a pet turtle that had a whole bunch of turtle babies, and he was just trying to find them a good home, although the way to do that is not to sell them in the Kmart parking lot. <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably rethink his business strategy on that one. That's not the best way to get a good and loving home for your turtles. You could probably have thought that through better, Dad. But kid doesn't know. He just wants to make some people happy, give them some pet turtles, and he gets fucking pulled at gunpoint. I can already know the, the discussion when the, the guys got in the car. Bob? Yeah, Jerry. Bob, you just stole 20 turtles. Yeah, Jerry. The fuck are we going to do with 20 turtles? I hope they were all snapping turtles and that that car ride was the most painful car ride they've ever taken and that their upholstery is ruined. Our last story. Okay. You're actually going to like this because all the times this shit happens, we never get a good explanation for, or we never get an explanation period for it. Well, we got one kind of, this is from Tennessee. Um, Tennessee. T -t Tennessee. Drunk East Tennessee man steals bobcat to cover nakedness. Not a cat. Uh, I need a link. I, I just said it. Or, there it is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. It didn't make the noise. That confused me. Noise. Yeah, it's it's not an actual cat. This is a... a cat's fuck you up oh okay it's not a cat it's a okay it's a forklift i was gonna say that's asking you to get your junk ripped off yeah 
he's like, grabbing an actual bobcat. That's the end of your junk. He stole uh, the explanation seems sound, allowing for alcohol consumption. That is probably one of the most reasonable first sentences to any of these stories I've ever read. Uh, Joseph Michael Hall told police he stole a bobcat front loader from a landscaping nursery in Knox County because he was naked. Knoxville News Sentinel reported police found the 19-year-old Hall driving the machine along the highway shortly after 7 a.m. Sunday, sans clothing. The arrest warrant states Hall was trying to hide his nudity by taking the bobcat. A caller 911 reported someone smashed through a fence with the machine and drove off in it. Hall was arrested less than a mile away, and the owner was called to come and retrieve his machine. It wasn't immediately known where or why Hall lost his clothes. Miss the charges are felony theft, DUI, and indecent exposure. I feel like there's better ways to deal with being me. Do you remember like, American Werewolf in London? Mommy, a naked man stole my balloons. I never saw it. Surprising no one! Surprising no one. Naked men stole... Yeah, but that would, even the balloons makes more sense. Yeah, like, I feel like <clears throat> there was probably something, like, that, you know, if you're on a construction site, there's probably a tarp over something. Living lately. It's just fashion a toga out of? Living lately asks the question, wouldn't it make more sense to steal pants? Oh, my friend. Yeah. Oh, my friend. You've never seen this show before, have you? I mean, I guess if you're drunk, it probably seems like way more awesome to steal the front loader. <laughs> it is more metal to steal the bobcat. That's true. Yeah. I could, I could steal a pair of pants. Or I could steal a forklift! Ah! Exactly. Yeah. Like... And and yet, it doesn't really solve your naked problem, as well as the pants would. I know, because the bobcats, it's not even like a car, because it's just a yeah, cage. Those are, yeah, those are open on the side, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And again, I feel like we're missing part of this, because we're coming in on the second act here. Yeah, how did he get there? How did we get, all he says was, I didn't, I was trying to not be naked. Well, why were you naked? <sighs> okay okay um reverend mal no sir your balls are not that big you don't need the forklift <laughs> well you know there was that guy that one poor guy who's what who's were yeah he had to have surgery they were like 100 pounds that does happen but if it does, you're probably not running around naked because they're going to slow you down. Yeah, a little bit. I, I just, I. Again, if it has to involve crashing through a fence, probably not the most best expedient plan for dealing with your junk flapping around. Yeah. I mean, it. I. <laughs> I would not want to be... Th this is another one of those moments that happens so often on our show that I picture these stories and then I picture the cops responding to them and just thinking to themselves, why did I choose this career? Yeah. No. They thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like law and order. I'm going to be like... I'm going to help people. I'm going to be homicide, life on the streets. I'm going to be, you know, doing important work. and A public servant and helping people. And getting naked guys out of forklifts. Car 38. Car 38. We got another naked jackass in a forklift. Please respond. Over. That's not where he... That's not the vector he saw his life taking. I'm amazed we, st we still have people willing to do this shit anymore. I have a feeling there's a percentage of the police population that is waiting to do this shit. That's like... Let's get some stories. I'll retire and write my book. We should really write a book. With pop-ups. No. Like the pop-up book of phobias. Have you seen that? The worst idea ever committed to print. Yeah, there's a book. It's the pop-up book of phobias. All things that people are terrified of in pop-up form. It's the most sadistic book I've ever seen. 
no, no, no. Because I know what would happen if we did a pop-up book and... Well, you know, dicks. We might as well just make a pop-up book of dicks. It would be the centerfold. Dicks on springs. Like bananas and pajamas. Pastries and panties. Didn't we do that? Yeah, we did that. God damn. That would be a good pop-up. Pastries and panties. Mm. So what did we learn this week? We we learned... Don't sell your fucking baby. Don't sell your baby. Don't sell the baby. That's not going to make your girlfriend like you more. Yeah, that is not what's considered an aphrodisiac. Hmm. I'm pretty sure after you sell the kid, you're never getting laid again, ever. Well, not the way you want, probably. Oh. And I don't like making prison rape jokes. I don't wish that on anybody. I'm just saying. Don't sell a baby. People that hurt kids don't do well in prison, man. Don't sell a baby. Um, we've learned that not only are there Oh my god, we can have a pop-up of a vagina gun. We have to do this. You're the graphic artist. I've... Oh, oh my god. Pop-ups. <laughs> I'll work on it. Um, we learned that not only can you put Bluetooth in a toilet, you probably shouldn't. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's so weird how many things in modern life that's, that fra that one bit from Jurassic Park applies yeah. to. It's sad we've gotten to that point. You, you you were so busy thinking about whether you could, you never stopped to think whether or not no, 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 you should, you know? Yeah. Um, we learned that uh, if you really, really, if you love someone, let them go. Don't call the police to bring them back to you. <laughs> they probably won't. They probably won't. That's if not you do, job. if the police bring them back to you, it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they turn the siren on. Uh, that would have been a very different ending to say anything, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. We, we learned that if at first you don't succeed... Stop! Try something different. <laughs> Maybe matches. And also, there is a time and a place to freak the fuck out. When, yes. When you come home to discover your attempted arson... That's a good time to freak the fuck out. Good time to freak the fuck out. Um... Just a little bit. I'm not saying you need to have a full-blown panic attack, but you could freak out just, just bit, enough to call 911. Just enough to call 911. Um... We, we we learned finally that that uh people will steal anything that's not nailed down. The poor turtles. You know, it's not life is not Skyrim. I blame Skyrim for this. Cause if you ever play Elder Scrolls, you go around that game and anything that's not nailed down, literally, you can take it with you. Oh, please. I played D&D &D twice in my life, and I know you always loot the body. That game's been around since the fucking Ice Age. But it's not loot the body. It's you take baskets and buckets and any goddamn thing, and you take it with it you. It matter. It all started with always loot the body. <clears throat> it is, yeah, it did start with always loot the body. Just don't. I, it's, why would you take a tur- why, why 20 turtles? I hope they did something nice with those turtles. I know. I, yeah, I, I just- I, I hope the turtles are okay. Yeah. They live a long time. So in a hundred years, they're coming back for vengeance. Very slowly. <laughs> oh. Steady wins the revenge. That'd be a great horror movie. Turtle coming back for vengeance? Yes. You super, flushed super him. Slowly. You flushed him as a child. Now he's back. Like he just stalks you really, really slowly. And yet you can never run faster than him. No. What's up with that? 